Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create this flipbook animation using PowerPoint. As you can see, each page will turn when we click the mouse button or hit down arrow key and at every page, we can add the required information. You can also go back to the previous page using up arrow key and you can see the effect of page turning backwards. Beautiful isn't it? So without any further delay, let's get started. As usual. Let's first go to the view tab and then enable the guides. Under the same tab, let's select slide master option, go to insert placeholder option and then choose picture from the drop down list. Draw a picture placeholder in a square shape, apply white color outline and increase its weight to four and a half points. We won't see this outline because even the background color is white. So let's right click on this shape and then choose format shape option, go to effects menu and then apply outer shadow effect. Adjust the transparency and blur values until we get desired shadow effect and then click on close master view to close the slide master. We will use this layout at the later stage of this tutorial. Next go to format background option on the right and then change the color to dark gray. Next we will design our flipbook. For that, let's go to insert tab, select shapes and then draw a rectangle shape. Align it centrally to left half of the slide and adjust the size if required. Now right click on the shape and then choose edit points. Select the upper left corner point and slightly drag it downwards. Next select the lower left corner point and slightly drag it upwards. Next select the upper right corner point. Select the handle and then make the surface slightly curved. Follow the same steps to lower right corner point as well. So far so good. Next select the shape and format it with four step linear gradient. Change the direction to vertical and then change all stop colors to white and different shades of light gray color as shown. Select the third stop position, slightly move its position and then change its fill color to more lighter shade of the gray color. Now duplicate this shape using Ctrl plus D, flip it horizontally Align it along the vertical axis and finally remove the outline of both the shapes. Next let's create a custom back and shadow effect. For that let's go to insert tab, choose shapes and then draw a rectangle shape. Remove its outline, change its fill color to black and then under effects menu go to soft edges option and then increase the size to 30 points. Slightly increase its width, drag and align it at the bottom as shown and then send it to back. Also drag and increase its height to match it with the back and rectangle shapes. Next go to insert tab, choose shapes and then draw a vertical line as shown. Change its color to light gray and then move it to the edge of the rectangle shape. Duplicate this line using Ctrl plus D and align it as shown. Next drag and select both the lines. Drag them holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create the duplicates and place it on the right side as shown. Now let's add meet our team text on the left side and align it properly. Let's also insert a logo on the right side by going to insert tab, choose shapes this device option. I am adding my own channel logo as an example. Let me reduce its size and align it on the right side. Let me also add a text below this logo and you can edit it as per your need. Now let's duplicate the first slide and then delete all existing elements. Next go to layout option 
and apply the design which we had created at the beginning of this tutorial using slide master. Reduce its size, align it on the left side of the page design and slightly rotate it as shown. Let's add the name and other necessary text fields on the right side and align them properly. Now to insert the profile picture inside this box, just click on this icon, select the picture and then click on insert. Now let's duplicate the second slide and rotate the picture placeholder. Go to picture format tab, select change picture, this device option and then select the picture you want to insert. You can also edit any text fields if required. Similarly, follow the steps of duplicating the slides, rotating the picture placeholders, changing the profile pictures and then editing the text. I will do these steps until 6 profiles but you can add more slides as per your requirement. Let me speed up to save time. Finally, delete the last slide as it is not required now. Then select all the slides. Go to transition tab. Expand the menu to see all the transitions and then apply page curl transition. All set. So here is the final preview of this beautiful animation. Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Stay tuned for next tutorial.